water, earth, fire, and air. Today we are looking at an add-on that lets you become the avatar and master all four elements. Depending on the bending style you choose, you will gain a different set of powers from the four nations. The avatar add-on is brought to us by Lichi Turtle 32 and you will find the link in the description. But without further ado, let's get right into the showcase. If you enjoyed this video, then consider subscribing as it helps out quite a bit and shows your support for the channel. Thank you! When you're creating or loading up a world, go down to experiments and you need to draw on these settings. All the day creator features, upcoming creator features, game test framework, and modeling features. Then go to behavior packs, click on available packs, and locate avatar add-on, and click activate. Then go down to resource packs, click on available packs, and locate the resource pack, and click activate. Then afterwards, click on create. Now when you first go into the world, you're not gonna have any bending powers. But however, you do have to go over to chat, and input this command, exclamation mark, scroll then you'll get yourself a lovely scroll. And from within the scroll, you can choose your bending style, you can choose your move slots, your settings, and your stats. If I were to click on settings, then there's only three settings. There is show move messages, and whenever you do use your moves, then they will display it within your chat. And everybody will know exactly what move you used. Then there's also enable bending, so if you disable that, then you cannot use your moves whatsoever. Then there's public stats, and that's where we're going to go to next. So whenever you click on the scroll, then you got yourself the stat button. If you were to click on that, then you'll get to choose what player you want to display. And once you've done that, go and click submit, then everything about the player is going to be displayed. Like how many deaths they had, how many mobs they've killed, what their sub bending style is, how many home locations have been saved, and how many movesets you have saved. Then it's also going to tell you on what your moves are. For example, I have the earth bending style selected, so for slot 1, I have earth big spike. And so if you were to choose a different player, then you'll know everything about them. But if I were to go back to settings and disable public stats, if I go back down to stats, then I choose our player and click submit, then it's going to say that that player has privated their stats. So no one is going to know where your stats are, which is definitely pretty cool. Privacy does matter. The bending style, which you have air, water, fire, earth, and avatar. We're going to begin with air. But however, we're not done yet, because after you've chosen your bending style, you have to choose your moves. So select choose slots, which you have a few different slots to choose from. You gotta move one all the way up to move four. And by default, they're all gonna be empty. You got air blast, air push, air launch, air scooter, air shockwave, air dodge, air pull, air blade, air artillery, air vanish, and air rush. We're gonna go ahead and select our first four moves. And I'd like to submit our moves. Now in order to use your different move slots, you're going to need to use a certain combination of keys. Such as if you press shift twice, then you will do your boost jump, which is our air launch. If I sneak and punch, then we get our air scooter. And this one is kind of hard to control. And this is definitely pretty cool. The way the particles move around, I definitely am a big fan of that. That is until you go into trees. In order to get off your scooter, you have to sneak. If you look down and punch, then you'll get your air push. If there's any mobs around this area, then they will all get pushed back. Oh, why did you almost explode? That guy almost exploded on us. I've also noticed that when you look in the inventory, you will find four different numbers. And these are corresponding to your different slots. So for example, if I press 2, then this will be an air push. If I were to press 1, then that will be an air blast. Or if I press 3, this is our air launch, then slot 4 with our scooter. And this is what we're going to be using throughout today's video. You know, just make things a bit easier on us. We're going to choose our next four moves. Our first move is Shockwave. Slot 2 is Dodge. And this will always shift you to the left. Power 3 is Pull. I believe that this will pull any mobs to you. So yep, it pulls our creeper. And then we have the Air Blade. Oh no. I threw him into the tree. Air Artillery. Which is going to act like a homing missile. So if I'm standing all the way over here and I interact, so let's say I'm standing all the way over here. If I interact, then it's always going to aim for the closest mob, which is being that creeper over there. In slot 2, we have air vanish, which is going to temporarily give you invisibility. Well, that is if you're not holding anything. And our final move is air rush, which sometimes it will work and sometimes it doesn't work. But it's meant to boost you in a certain direction. If I were to try to use this move again, then as you can see, we didn't get boosted forward. 
so it's not always guaranteed to work. It's now time to move on to our next spinning style, which is going to be Earth. Now this time, if I go over to choose slots, we're going to have a bunch of other moves to use. This time we have Pillar, Lift, Throw, Headbutt, Shove, Surge, Shield, Spikes, Top, Burrow, and Big Spike. Let's go ahead and select our four moves. In slot one, we have Pillar, which will go ahead and give you a Pillar of Dirt. But however, this pillar is only temporary, because after a short amount of time, it's simply going to disappear. And then we have Earth Lift, which will lift up the land around you. But however, that's also temporary, and it will go back down after a while. And then we have Earth Throw. Now this looks pretty cool, because it gives you a dirt block that you could throw, and it explodes. But don't worry, I don't think it can destroy blocks. And our final move is Headbutt, which will give you the speed effect. The last one is kind of boring. Our next move is Shove, which will push any mobs around you. And then we have Earth Search, which is meant to search for diamonds. But however, it's only going to find diamonds below you. So right below me, we have sold some diamonds. And if I interact, then it's going to tell us that our diamonds is 36 blocks below us. So if I were to dig down, our diamonds are close. And there we go, we have our diamonds. Oh, and by the way, those are diamonds that I placed. For our third move, it is a shield, which will give you a shield of dirt. I definitely like this one quite a bit. And then we have Earth Spikes, which will give us those jaws that the Evokers use. Our next move is Earth Top. So this one is meant to be used in conjunction with the Burrow move. So if I were to interact, then this puts you underground. And if I interact with that other move, then it brings us right up. That's actually pretty cool. And then our final move for the Earth category is Big Spike. Oh wow, that creeper went up. We're going to move on to the next bending style which is water. And with our four moves selected, let's begin with the first one, which is water spear, which is very similar to the air blast. Our second move is water flood, where it's going to flood a land full of water. And that is also temporary. So if you use this in your friend's space, do not worry, the water will go away. I've also noticed that this move does do damage, so it will end up harming mobs. And the best part is, if you're in the nether, then you can convert the lava right into easy obsidian. So this is a way to get lots of obsidian pretty quickly inside your world. Our third move is Water Splash. And if you end up using this move around a bunch of mobs, then it's all going to damage them. What is with the creeper is almost exploding. And then our fourth move is Frost Walker, which is going to give you free Frost Walker, which is definitely pretty cool. So our next move is definitely going to be quite messy, because if I interact, it causes ice spikes to appear. But however, unlike the other moves, it's not temporary. Which is kind of a bit of a problem, because if you're in your friend's space and you use this, then that ice is not going to go away. Instead, you just got to break it, which it can definitely get very, very annoying. And plus, the more mobs you have, the messier it's going to get. Our next move is Water Wake, which is essentially a water dodge, and this will always shift you to the left. And then we have Water Rush, which is going to push you forward. What have I gotten myself into? The scraper is looking at me like, why are you down there? And our next move is Ice Throw, which lets you throw a block of ice. This is definitely one of my favorite moves to play around with. This is definitely one of my favorite moves to play around with. And we're now down to the final three water moves, which our first one is Ice Cage, which any mobs that are around the area, they will get trapped in ice. It ain't really chopped that creeper much though. And move two is Water Shield, which will give you a shield of water. I definitely like the look of that. What in the world happened to you? I don't even want to know. And our final water move is Water Launch, which will launch you into the air. This one can definitely be pretty fun to play with. And the best part is, you do not take any fall damage. But however, you do have to be careful in survival mode, because you will take damage. Luckily, we have those extra hearts. Let's go ahead and move on to the next bending style, which is Fire. And just to make things a bit more fitting, we're doing this inside the nether. And let's go ahead and check out our fire moves. So we have Fire Blast, Finder, Shield, Sprint, Fireball, Charge, Boosters, Shockwave, Smite, and Finale. Our first move is Fire Blast, which is going to shoot out a blast of fire. This is definitely a pretty cool move. Take that, Creeper. Our next move is called Fire Finder, which is essentially a homing missile. It is very, very similar to Air Artillery. Our next move is Fire Shield, which is going to give us a shield of fire. Okay, so this next move is pretty cool, because it is called Fire Sprint. Look at this. That is just amazing. It literally gives us speed and lets us sprint fire. This can be quite dangerous because if you do this near your wooden builds, then it could burn them down. Our next move is Fireball, 
with this you shoot a fireball. Our next move is called charge which will give you speed, regeneration and absorption. So this can definitely be quite useful to get away from mobs. Now our next one is quite fun because it lets us ride a fireball. Now how cool is this? Definitely useful for getting around. Our fourth move is shockwave which if there's any mobs around the area then they would get pushed back. We are now down to the final two fire moves which we have smite which any mobs around the area will catch on fire. And our final move is fire finale. Now it may look like it does nothing but if you wait a second then it will explode and any mobs around the area they will go ahead and vanish. And after learning all four elements it's now time to move on to avatar. We have gathered all four elements and since we're the avatar we have all of the moves so there's no special ones they're basically all the same moves that we've done before but this time all together. I really wish that there was an avatar state move that'd be pretty cool. I would also like to mention that when you change your bending style your set health will also change. So if I choose the water bending style then we get five extra hearts. If I choose fire then same amount. If I go to earth then we get an extra layer. And the avatar bending style also has an extra layer. And that's essentially it for all the different bending styles and the different moves. Definitely pretty cool and definitely very fun. I'm definitely a very big fan of avatar and after playing with this add-on I might go back and rewatch the show because it definitely is one of my favorites and it definitely holds a spot in our hearts. But with that being said go ahead and let me know your thoughts in the comments what you think of this add-on and if you do want to get this then there will be a link in the description. If you enjoyed today's video then consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're around here and don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. But for now I will catch you next time. Goodbye.